Hey, this is Jeff, and in this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a cool highlight effect in Articulate Storyline. This is specifically useful for people who create software simulations, uh, and whether you do it with a uh, screencast video or use screenshots to make that interactive, the highlight uh, is a really uh, useful feature to point people to that area of the screen that you're talking about. So let's take a look at how this is done. So we're in a storyline and one of the first things I'm going to do is add the screenshot of the application I want to use my highlight on uh, or the video uh, to the slide here and I've already done that and it's a screenshot of storyline. I'm going to zoom into the area that I want to highlight. So there we go. And this is where I'm going to insert my shape. Now I like the oval shape. If you like a rectangle or something else, go ahead and use that. I'm going to put that on top. That's about it. And then I'm going to make it transparent. So I'm going to go into Format tab, remove the outline, and I'm going to right click the shape to make it fully transparent. Now the difference between fully transparent and no fill, which you see in the, in the top here, is that uh, a no fill is actually there's not nothing there so there's nothing to hover on or to click on it's an empty area but if I set it to full transparency it's still solid only invisible so I can still click on it hover on it that kind of thing so I've done that so I've got my invisible shape here and I'm gonna call it highlight And I'm going to go to the States uh, panel here. I'm going to pull it up a little bit. I'm going to edit this state and I'm going to add a state. And let's for the, say for this example, we're going to add a Hoover state. So new state, I'm going to select a new one. And I can also create a custom state, which I can call with the trigger. So, but we're not going to do Hoover now. And while in the Hoover state, I'm selecting this button. I'm going to press Ctrl D to duplicate it. And I'm going to add an outline to that. So that's nice, making it yellow. And now I've got my fully transparent shape here, the original button basically. And I've got a uh, fully transparent shape with an outline on top of that. But they're not perfectly aligned. So let's just select them both as you can see I've got two shapes here and then I'm gonna go into a line left and top and now they're exactly on top of each other now what I want to do is add an animation to this shape that's on top and I I have to create this shape because I cannot add an animation to the original uh, transparent slide so I'm gonna create my wheel in effect give it one second and I want it to be a one spoke effect so that way it will just turn right in so perfect that's it I'm done let's preview this Ooh, that's pretty nice right so it works perfectly so summarizing we create a shape an oval or any other kind Go to states, create an additional state called either Hoover or Highlight or whatever you like. Um, and we're going to duplicate the default shape that we've set to full transparency, align it with the uh, fully transparent shape uh, that's below it, create a nice outline, and add an animation effect. And I used the wheel effect. And that's it, really. As you can see, a simple yet powerful effect to bring attention to points on screen, whether you're uh, talking, the, talking through, through them in a screencast or uh, asking people to interact with the screen with a uh, simple screenshot. Hope you like it. See you around.